Hello, hello! Orphidius Beard here, back to show Andrew Lincoln and his crew the proper way to deal with the walking dead in XCOM War of the Chosen. I mean, come on here, Grimes. You know, it's been seven years since the zombie apocalypse and you still don't have that shit under control. Natural rot, bloat, and putrescence should have done most of the work for you by now, Rick. Seven summers baking in a hot Georgia sun? There really shouldn't be a whole lot left of those zombies at this point but a mildly malodorous pile of twitching sinew and bone. That's it, they should be out of commission. Dealing with the apocalypse seven years in should mostly just be a matter of finding Carl a good pair of steel-toed boots and sending them out to stomp on some skulls. It's, it, that little ass kicker, in fact, could also be given a pair of steel-toed boots and sent out to deal with the zombie apocalypse at this point. Last episode, Joe Hill didn't seem to have any trouble, and he, we gave him the big nickel-plated cowboy revolver, and he was dropping zombies faster than Taylor Swift can drop disses on a terrible pseudo-rap track on her new album. Taylor Swift, you know, I don't want to fire shots here. You are the crimson-lipped goddess of death and will love you forever when the actions you took to save humanity in the first invasion. But I gotta say, the new Taylor Swift is not really what we have come to expect. We all really liked the old Taylor Swift. Did, did we need a new one? Well, okay, that's not true. We didn't really like the old Taylor Swift either, but the new Taylor Swift seems if somehow more irritating, if possible. I'm not really sure it can be possible. But let's see if uh, old Chuck Wendig and Stephen King here can show Andrew Lincoln actually how it's done. So we're looking for some more zombies. All right, probably going to be some zombies up in here since these guys seem to be tipping us off. Why are these zombies all wrapped in the guts of a VHS videotape? They're, they're, I mean, look, they're, these are just unraveled cassette tapes and video cassettes from like the mid 90s. This guy's wearing an, an actual copy of the film Tombstone starring Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer. He's, your, he's my Huckleberry. I'll be a Huckleberry. That's just my game. So we got Praetal Mox on a team. We're going to see if he's as good as Rick Grimes when it comes to bringing out the shiny nickel-plated revolver. It right, looks like we can move forward without worrying about spawning any pods. We've got a pretty good latitude of movement here. You know what, Stephen King? I just want to keep you next to our boy Praetal Mox. Let's try and keep everybody together here. We're going to go forego Overwatch on this first turn. Something approaches. That was not zombies. That sounded like Advent. All right, Chuck, get up here and check it out. As the rookie, you have the least useful potential maneuvers here. Uh, what the hell is you this? Were not meant to. Purifiers were created with a singular purpose to contain the drop ten, the lost. We must eliminate this patrol quickly. Are those flamethrowers? Take them down. Do those guys have flamethrowers? It looks like it looks like they have flamethrowers. That's definitely some... Uh, I don't like the looks of these men at all. All right, so we got Stephen King. All right, King, if we move you to the corner of this truck. Let's try using the left alt key here. Okay, target preview. We'll be able to see... Uh, what, what What was that, though? Hello, prison? Oh, there it is. Uh, working the turkey through War of the Chosen? What was that all about? All right, so target preview. We'll be able to see two from here, and if we can get a Granado on one of these units, I think we'll be okay. I'd like to be able to do it without having to resort to a grenade, but this guy's next to... What, what are your shots like here? Like, terrible and worse. All right. Stephen King goes from bad to worse. What if we go for the grapple here? Let's see how far we can grapple. Oh, we got really good grapple potential. What can we see here? We'll be able to see both targets... I like this as well. Okay, Chuck Wendig, actually, can you... I don't suppose you could hurl a grenade that far, could you? You can't hit him, but you could hit the... Will that thing explode? Let's see if Stephen King can get a grenade back. Okay, King of King... Oh, wait, wait a minute. Stephen King can hit them both. Can we solve this problem with... Stephen King can just hit both of these guys. Well then, problem solved. Catch. When in doubt, apply a liberal dose of grenade. That's the Stephen King motto. Actually, I think the Stephen King motto is when in doubt, uh, get some children to engage in an orgy at the end of your movie because that's really weird and it'll freak people out. Uh, Chuck is not going to be able to do much at all here, are you, Chuck? 
Well, Windig's first day out of the box has not been fantastic. But we can get two shots with this guy. So if we hurl our grapple, let's get it up here. This will give us an elevation bonus. It looks like Praetal Mox is going to have to be up here to save the day. The grapple does not take an action. It does not take an action. Okay. So we got an 80% chance of whacking that guy. 74% chance of whacking that guy. What about this thing we've got with this Ripjacks? 93 and 93. That's pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll take our higher percentage shot here at this man. Shot in the brain and killed. Fantastic work, Mox. And then we'll try and Ripjack this dude. No, don't reload. Ripjack this dude with justice. No one escapes. Enjoy some rich, steamy justice, punk. Oh, he just got Wolverine. They will fight the the patrol has All right, Mox. I... May their lives not be lost what are you, one of the... Con oh, good. It sounds like my we neighbor is... Forward and complete our mission. This guy, I'm telling you, he has fucking magic powers. Is that a weed whipper? Every time I build an audio filter for when this guy decides to do lawn work while I'm recording, he comes up with some kind of new piece of farm equipment that I don't have a fucking audio filter for. That sounds like a weed whipper? Moving out. I know it's not hedge trimmers, because last time he did this to annoy me, he did it with hedge trimmers, and the guy trims his hedges like once every hundred billion years, so... Come get some. I have no idea. Is that a power washer? What the fuck is that? Well, if you can hear the delightful noise in the background, first off, I'm sorry. Second off, I... There this guy. He, he is, he's, the, he's the perfect annoyance. He really Overwatch. is. Kai 7 bullpup. All right, first things first, let's reload. It looks like our ripjack and grapple abilities both have cooldowns. We don't have a mission timer here, so let's take a minute and give the team time to regroup and get those cooldowns back because we may need them. On Overwatch. Let's just uh, round the horn here, guys. I mean, I know this seems a little gamey, but what else are we going to do? We might as well. There we go. All right, so cooldowns have all reset. And we're back to the top of the order. Back to the top of the order. All right. Let's continue advancing. Chuck, again, as the man with the least useful moves. Can we have you go first? Position. We got, we got, we got Chuck. Uh, okay. I'm a little trepidatious here. It looks like we're going to be running into maybe a swarm of lost. Also, pray tell Mox, I don't suppose you can get down. I want to be on Overwatch here. My goal is if we are going to activate some new enemies, especially lost, we'd like to have them walking into three guys on Overwatch and potentially taking a couple of them out. There's still nothing. All right, Chuck, move to here. Good copy. Moving on target. Um, okay, a big tanker truck. Oh, shit! See, Rick Grimes, the Advent knows how to purge the zombie apocalypse. They're just out here with a whole shitload of dudes and flamethrowers. Yes, one we do not have time to face. Excuse me? Everyone, get back! Well, you know, Worf, I really wish you had... I mean, why did you kill those guys? They were purging the freaking zombies, and you just blew them all. Just let them purge, man. We could have walked around. Your may be down, but unfortunately... That was our extract. Yeah, great work, oh, Gun Happy. That is not the worst of it. Multiple oh, well, no, the Lost heard the explosion, so now they're coming to run in for the rich the taste lost. of cooked Advent. I'm assuming it's not... Yeah, you know what? It's not the sound there, Praetal Mox. It's the smell. They smelled a bunch of cooked Advent troopers, and now they're coming over here because they got to come run in for the rich taste of XCOM. Lost. Draklar. Dashers. They are not as docile as the rest of their Dashers? Description. It would seem the mutation has somehow accelerated these dashers metabolism, allowing enhanced speed. Also, I don't remember Praetal Mox being all the way up here earlier, but suddenly he is. Okay, I'm not a fan of that. Praetal Mox can see no one. Dashers, I'm going to assume, unlike the other lost who slowly shuffled forward and did not attack. I'm going to guess when dashers come at us, they can probably make an attack move. They're going to be a little more like chrysalids or something. We can't see any right now, which is exactly the way I like it. So let's move everybody up, drop everybody into Overwatch, and get ready for, like, an organized defense here. Because it looked like there were a lot of those dudes coming this way. Let's group up so we can get overlapping Overwatch fields here. Also, I want to see just exactly where we could potentially grapple to. Okay, grapple up here, even if we want. That seems like a really good spot to shoot. 
No, we cannot reach there. It must be out of range. We could get up here on any one of those. Get over here if we want. Why is this tile highlighted? <gasps> we can get up there. We'd be like completely invulnerable to all harm on top of that crate. Okay, we're not gonna grapple yet because we don't know where the enemy is. We wanna see if we can get him to run into our guns. I stand ready. Gun the lost. Oh, that's a lot of them. All right, Chuck, make this one count, buddy. Chuck Wendig brings the heat, but he doesn't quite have enough heat to get the kill. That's unfortunate. Mox with Stephen King. Stephen King took one down. There's no way a loss survived the five damage hit. All right, Mox is completely surrounded. We got three boys over here. Okay, we can headshot these guys. Oh, Mox, we want to save your action. Okay, so Chuck, you only have two shots here. At these guys get headshot. 84%, 82%. Let's see if we can get some freebies here from Chuck. Chuck with kill number one. Good work. Headshot, free action. Uh, let's go for another headshot. Headshot free action. You're welcome, by the way, Praetal Mox. Our boy, Chuck, picking up a promotion, by the way. Chuck has no more targets. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Chuck reload. And then Chuck's going to be on Overwatch. All right, Stephen King can see three. What are your hit percentages like here, Steve? Not fantastic, actually. We could drop a grenade down there and kill them all. Alternatively, weren't there some guys back over here a minute ago? I saw some boys back there. Mox, where can you grapple to? If we grapple you into one of those two squares, you're not going to be able to do anything really at all. Mox can't see the enemy from where he's at either. We can move him to here, have him take some long range shots down range. What can you see here? Three loss. So the three, but that puts you like uncomfortably close to the enemy. You can also see three from there. All right, Mox, let's move you around here. I go as ordered. What are your hit percentages like? Extraordinarily bad, actually. So we got to hold our position for three turns. Stephen King has better chances, but still not good chances. Okay, you know what, Steve? I'm tempted to... I, I would like you to get one shot off and then re... You know what? We're going to have to gamble on the one. 67%, little over two-thirds. That's my boy. So Stephen King takes a kill. Then we're going to have Steve reload. Ready to go. That one doesn't, Unreserved. that's not a free action. But it does give Steve some ammo. So then another 67%. Can he go two for two? Can Stephen King put out back to back hits? He puts out the back to back hits. Stephen King is the man. Target neutralized. Oh, he's rocking it. All right, Steve. Go for the, go for the hat trick. It's fucking hat trick. No longer you're, a you're an amazing and extraordinary man, Stephen King. What and honestly, a national back. treasure. So why don't you reload then? We could have reload. Stephen King go on Overwatch, but I, I don't really feel like we need it at this point. Great tall Mox, you see my boys out here putting on a fucking display, by the way. So we still have two shots at Overwatch. Great tall Mox, come on. All right, you know what, good shot. My guys are doing the heavy lifting here, but you're contributing and that's good. That whole area is hotter than we I mean, thought. Gonna need a little not more really time. that hot. Understood. Hey, Chuck, I'm going to go wrap this man up. By the way, Chuck Wendig knows how you die, and he's going to say this man dies to a headshot from an assault rifle. He turns out Chuck Wendig is always right. He knows how you die to a headshot from an assault rifle. Then he goes on Overwatch. Steve, we're just going to bring you back around here, drop you into Overwatch. We got to hold our position for two more turns, but honestly, Bradford is talking about how hot this area is. Like, oh, it's so hot, so hot, so much enemy action. You know what, Bradford? It really ain't that hot. Great Tom Mox is going to reload. Want to keep the clips full? Yeah, okay, we got this is three more loss coming at us. Should be getting some overwatch here. My boy, Steve. All right, you know what? We're going to have to call that one your Mr. Mercedes, Stephen King. That one was Mr. Mercedes, or possibly your, uh, I don't know what the title of it is because I don't remember the date, but the novel you wrote about JFK, Chuck Windig, also coming up blank. Chuck, that one was not really a big hit either. We're going to call that one your zeros. 66, 66. Okay, so Chuck's got some shots here. 
Chuck can see them all from this location. We haven't really done much with Praetal Mox, but we kind of haven't really need to. Steve, what do you got? 71, 70, 69. You've hit, I mean, you've hit more difficult shots. Mox, all right, he's got some stuff going here. All right, Windig, bring you around the corner. Closing on target position now. Get, uh, give, give me some headshots. 69% Chuck Windig is not going to miss a 69. Chuck Windig apparently not into oral. Get it together. Toss me some ammo. Can Stephen King do better? This guy is lights out, man. Lights freaking out. Stephen King does not know the meaning of the word miss, with the exception of Mr. Mercedes, which I kind of feel like was a rare miss for Stephen He's just brutally gunning them down here. They step up, and Stephen King is gutting them like fish. He reloads. Okay, Steve, we'll hold off on that 69%. Maybe you like Oral a little more than Chuck Windig. Let's see if Mox can finish off the last guy. There's a good shot, Mox. I'm gonna have you use your free action to reload. And then we'll just have you on Overwatch. Stephen King, fresh clip, also on Overwatch. Yeah, I'm not really that worried about it, actually, Bradford. pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. We found a new route that should get you to If only our specialist and mission specialist super operative Praetal so Mox here hadn't detonated a massive garbage a truck explosion, maybe we wouldn't have to worry about the swarm coming our way. But now we do. On my way. Let's just advance under a steady cover of Overwatch here. We got three turns to get our soldiers down there. Honestly, these guys... Well, Praetal Mox is going to be really fast, because if we need to, we could probably just have him grapple closer. So let's have Mox. You be our anchor. Chuck and Steve, I think I'm going to have you guys just make a break for it, just like haul balls. Grab your nuts and get to sprint. Uh, Steve, I mean, I wouldn't mind having you forward, but I don't want you that far forward, just in case of lost. Now, you know what? Go ahead. J.J. Abrams' television show can't possibly hurt you. You're Stephen King. What are you? So the magic loss are the ones who have sh Ooh, Okay, that's a lot of lost. But I guess the special lost are just the guys who have shirts. Wow, that's a buttload of lost. We should probably go. Can everybody make it? Um, everybody but Praetal Mox. Mox, where can you grapple to, buddy? You could grapple to there and then run. I mean, that's cool. How many headshots can you get off on the way out? You got a lot. Of relatively high percentage shots here. You know what? Let's, let's, I don't, I think Mox is going to be okay. Let's have him take a couple with him. Headshot, free action. Headshot, free action. Go ahead and empty the clip here. No, no, don't reload though. Are you empty? You're empty. All right, well, we're gone then. Couple quick parting shots for our boy Praetal Mox. It's always good to get in some practice. Treating it like the firing range, by the way. The guy was executing with perfection. Windig. Beat feet. Steven, also, you got a double move just to get into the zone, so why don't you beat feet too? Mox has got plenty of Moxie here. He's a you know what? I just realized Praetal Mox is actually a Hutzpa fighter. I must run. Praetal Mox is freaking squirrel girl. I got Moxie! There's no foe you can't defeat with Moxie, kid! This Praetal Mox is loaded with Moxie! His actual nickname is Mox. By the way, the least imaginative nickname of all time. Praetal Mox Mox. The people on your team really hated you when they gave you a call sign, didn't they? Chuck Windig still. He knows how you die. Headshot to an assault rifle. Stephen King putting on an absolute shooting display. And here's our boy Praetal Mox, who, you know what, didn't shoot himself. <gasps> it's the much-awaited reunion of Deanna Troy and Worf. She's going to be super pissed because Worf left her and married Judzia Dax. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you You know what, I know you two are eager to rekindle your relationship. long memories. Elder. I can see the smoldering desire in your eyes. This whole antagonistic relationship thing, it's just a front. It's just a front. Would you two just, you know what, put put aside, put aside your pride for a moment and just kiss already. Just kiss already. We both know what you want to do. Oh. 
the hell is that? She chopped the bullet no out of the air? Done that before. No one shall ever do that and again. And you are? What the hell is that? You know, Bradford, you took Fox the words right out of my mouth. Elder assassin. Relentless death that stalks my kind. Butcher of free Just when Worf and Troy were about to have their ultimate reconciliation and give each other a deep, passionate soul kiss, an assassin has to show up. We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of By the way, fantastic deflection there, Troy, because we all know that you tried to murder Praetal Mox and just fucking missed. Conveniently, there was an assassin over his shoulder. Your Reapers face a being such as this. They appeared without warning years ago. Had they not, we would have already regained okay, our so home. we don't know what this thing is capable of. Such arrogance. The Elder's will extends throughout Mox is out of bullets. I am that one of their instruments. And you are? Well, okay, so the... That thing disappeared. Right, Mox, we're going to have you reload. We have no idea what these assassins are or what they can do. So let's just put everybody in a cluster for Overwatch, I guess. Except, you know what, Elena? I'm going to have you go into shadow form. I stalk my prey. And maybe you... Okay, let's, let's have you go see if you can find the enemy. You're really fast also. Um, is she in this tile? We're gonna see if we can use the the cheat gambit here to figure out what tile the enemy is in by finding a tile we can't stand in. Oh, we can stand there. All right. So if the enemy is on the map, they should be in a tile theoretically. So if there's a tile we can get to that ordinarily we would be able to stand in but cannot stand in, we'll know where she's at. Look at the movement on Dragonov here. Locks, uh, Deanna Troy is fast as shit. Of course, you spend as much time as she probably spent trying to evade her mother, Loxana. I guess you're going to develop some pretty good foot speed. You can cover all of this ground, and none of these tiles appear to have a person in it. Pete, are you really going to just sit here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, for a second I thought we found her. Thought she was hiding behind the outhouse, but it turns out no. All right, I have no idea where this chick is. She may be so far away that we're not going to be, even with Elena Dragunov's ridiculous foot speed here, we may not be able to get a shot at her. So it seems like the smart move then is to just cluster up with, wait a minute, why are we detected here? I actually can't see what's going on. There does appear to be a tile we can't step in though. No, maybe not. Why are we detected here? Okay, hold on. Move that way. I want to see what's up there. I am trusting you. What's, what's down here? Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, that's why, because we're jumping through a plate glass window or going through a door. All right. Well, I guess what we'll do is just put let's just put everybody on Overwatch. Then we'll cluster up, make a little make a little man fort. Or Lady Fort, I guess, Elena. I shouldn't gender stereotype. Man, Chuck Wendig is out of bullets. I don't want to leave him out in the open, because I don't want that assassin to... Well, she only had a sword, though. Moving to designated position. Uh, you know what, Chuck? Reload, because you're going to need some bullets Ready to here. engage. Stephen King's... Mox, you're on Overwatch. Attacking on sight. We got Joe Hill, Sniper Man. Uh, we could have Joe Overwatch where he's at, but his sniper rifle Overwatch is going to be pretty unimpressive. Let's just bring him over here and go for the more garden variety pistol overwatch. Thinking we just uh, pistol overwatch. Charlie, let's get you over here. Understood. Drop you into overwatch. A little shotgun overwatch. And Steve, let's get you over here. And again, overwatch. If this assassin lady wants to come mess with us, if she's going to come diving out of stealth, we're going to get. Okay. Well, she wasn't on the map. No wonder we couldn't find her. You have a name. Assassin, Fall Ill Baladur, Shadow Queen. She's got a great title. Shadow Queen sounds badass. Strengths, watchful, can enter Overwatch upon ending their turn. All right, don't like that. Shadow Step, 
This chosen does not trigger Overwatch or reaction fire. Well, there goes my whole fucking let's put everybody on Overwatch plan. I guess that's right out the ring. Straight down the toity. All right, weaknesses. Bewildered. Takes additional damage from three plus attacks in a single turn. Or adversary reapers. Takes increased damage from reapers. Very intriguing. All right. So you had a very dramatic entrance, by the way, Miss Shadow Queen, teleporting in in a uh, Skynet style. So what's what's going on here? I will end this quickly. All right. So Elena Dragonov is in. So you were over here somewhere. Let's assume you took a regular move. Try to figure out where the hell you are. I know we did this for a while while this unit wasn't actually on the map, but she's got to be on the map now. She spawned. Is she over by where she spawned? Sweet Terminator style teleporting in in a ball of force kind of thing, too. Although, you know what? Traditionally, you should have been nude when you landed and then gone and beat the shit out of Bill Paxton and taken his clothes. Just, you know, I am nothing if not a traditionalist. All right, let's bring Elena down here. Overwatch is not really going to do us any good. Oh, you crumbled up. That, you know, that used to be a person. She does have this proximity mind. The other thing we could do. I wonder if our own units would trigger the proximity mind. We could try and position ourselves in such a fashion that the only way the assassin could get to us is to trigger the proximity mind. And I'm going to assume, by the way, that the assassin can't do anything to us. As long as we're as long as we're stealthed, I'm guessing the assassin will not be able to break our concealment. Is there a place we could position ourselves so that in order to get to us, the assassin would have to step on the proximity mine without killing any of our units? Like if we ran, because Overwatch is pointless. Remember, she 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 doesn't take damage from Overwatch. How far can we hurl this thing? Can we hurl it like back here? Now, what we need to be is up against a building or a zone. So like right here would do. If we could get everybody over here and line them up against this wall, we could shield a number of them with that proximity mine. We couldn't shield them all. Though. Like we could go one, two, three. We only have four guys though, right? Now we have five. Shit. So can all of you, and some of you can't make it anyway. We could go. I'm just trying to think of a place where we could be, where we could like block off every avenue of approach. Drop that proximity mine and keep everybody safe. So we could go one, two, three, four, five, and then we could put the proximity mine like here. And if she comes at us from the front, we got her. You know, I kind of don't hate that. Can everybody make it? Chuck, are you fast enough? You are. No, Chuck, when did get... Wait a minute, what if we, we we could bunker in here and then we could block off one whole side? I... Yeah, that's probably our best bet. All right, so let's put our most valuable... M okay, MVPs are going to be on the side least likely to get attacked. And MVPs are anybody with, like, low health. So, Chuck, we're going to want to make sure you are protected. So we're going to bring you... I think we're gonna put you right here. Already there. And then Stephen King. I mean, I don't want you hurt because you're you're a goddamn ace, but you are also tired. So then we could put Stephen King. He won't have any cover though. What if she tries to shoot at him? Put Stephen King here. Rolling out. Gimme, give gimme. Give okay, Charlie. Give me my Houston. You're gonna be down here. You three are gonna Moving be covered. Out by the proximity mine. Mox, we're going to bring you over here. I go. You can be on Overwatch, not that it's going to do any good. And Joe Hill, I'm sorry, buddy, but you're going to have to maybe take one for the team on this. Move, move, move. I am going to put Mox on Overwatch, even though I know it's not going to do any good because the enemy has Shadow Step. So let's have you throw a proximity mine right here. And maybe if we get lucky, now this chick will, will come step on his Claymore. Just overwatch it. Oh, Mox can shoot the claymore too. It is under my watch. Enemies okay. on the move. Here she comes. 
Oh shit. Oh, here she comes. We got her! No, why did the claymore not go off? She didn't stand it, you piece of crap. She didn't stand in it. Stephen King is dazed. Bending Reed. Oh. And on Overwatch. You are outmatched, and your time is running short. You're right, I am outmatched. It looks like the Chosen knocked one of our soldiers into a daze. We need to get someone over there to help them get back on their feet before that thing I don't, can move in I don't want to revive. So, she's on Overwatch, but Elena is concealed? Are we going to be able to see... Can't see anything. Okay, so somebody's got to forego an action here. All right, Chuck, get our boy back on his feet. Come on, get back in the fight. Stephen King is no longer dazed. I admire your attempts. But he only has one action. So that lady went over here. All right, you know what, bitch? I don't know where you are, but I do know what I can do, and that Stephen King can blow the shit out of the Grenade. fucking building you're in. Whoops, found ya! Also, your Overwatch can suck it. Hey, Charlie Houston, I would love for... Ah, you don't... Okay, you know what? Come up here. If Charlie Houston sets off this proximity mine, by the way, I'm gonna be absolutely furious. Okay, good. And I would like for you to put a shotgun in the side of this bitch's face. Nope, so that's two attacks this turn. She does take extra damage from Reapers, right? So we could have Dragonov come here and she will have a... F yeah, she'll have a flank shot. Let's bring you in here. This will be our third attack, by the way, too. 79% chance for 6 to 9 damage. This will not net us a kill, but a good chance to hit. There it is. She's bewildered. What does bewildered mean? Oh, well, she's revealed herself. That's unfortunate. I had not expected this conflict to be so exhilarating. Vanishing you wind. Me, Still, the elder's will is that none survive this day. I cannot leave that. I don't like the looks of whatever that is at all. The sonic dispersal waves emitting from that pod are crisscrossing a massive area. Uh, lost. Oh, okay, so she predator maneuvered us. We defeated the predator, and what does she do? Sets off her arm nuke. Typical dick move. A lost swarm has appeared. I mean, that doesn't really seem that dangerous. It's a lot of guys, but Meaning I think we could probably take them. Rang the dinner bell for every remaining lost in the city. An probably all right. The entire lost it's like six guys. Joe Hill can kill those position. by himself in a single turn. Let's get you all the hell out of there. Oh. On route awesome. To it's now. yeah, Get lovely moving. that we have to go through all of the enemies. By the way, that's beautiful. Okay, Mox, we're gonna need uh, probably some enhanced motion out of you. All right. Well, first off, who do we have left? Okay, we got Joe Hill. We got Chuck Windig. Windig could probably get up here and take these two close guys. I mean, they're just gonna be standing in the open with nothing left. Somebody's gonna have to get these dudes though, or they're gonna get to our Reaper. I'm still salty about Stephen King taking damage, but I'm not really sure what we could have done there. We tried to protect everybody we could, and the enemy dodged our freaking Claymore, which by the way, how did she know was there? No, don't shoot at that. 82% for a dasher. All right, take it. Chuck went in with the headshot. Fantastic work, Chuck. Go for two. Chuck, bring Holmes the bacon. He bring Holmes the bacon. He also brings home the bacon. 67%. This one's a little lower percentage. But you know what? Chuck has a grenade. Can you? He has a grenade, but you know what? He doesn't have a great arm. Should play a little more softball, Charles. Still gets the job done, though. All right, so you're going to reload. And you're going to overwatch. Actually, uh, okay, you should have gotten... Feels like you should have gotten a bonus action there. So Praetal Mox can only see one target from there. Where can you grapple to, buddy? Can you get all the way to the roof? No, because apparently those tiles don't exist. There you'll only be able to see one person. I don't like that. Joe Hill? What can you see from here? You'll be able to see one lost. 
You know, Joe Hill also has a. You know what? Joe Hill's a med kid. Patch up Get our boy. No chances here. Look at this. The father and son duo. Pops was feeling a little under the weather, and his boy patched him right up. So all we've got left is Mox. Honestly, you know what, Mox? Let's get you up here. So you're going to up... No, I would like for you to grapple to this tile, though. Still getting a little bit used to the interface. A lot of new mechanics here. Grapple isn't technically totally new, but it's new-ish. Mox has now elevated shots on two of the lost. 90% chance for a headshot here. I like it. Reaction from the headshot. Man, our boy is doing work here. Another shot. Praetal Mox putting zombies in the dirt. Oh, we got a... Uh, gained a one ability point from height advantage shot. All right. Reload. And then let's overwatch. Uh, Joe Hill, I just want you to actually to be a little bit closer to everyone else. Although Stephen King is lagging behind a little bit. We've still got some Overwatch. A lost swarm is very close. Initial analysis of these creatures' movement patterns reveals an almost. I don't suppose we can get Elena to go back into the mindless automatons they initially appeared. So how far do we have to go? We gotta go. How are we supposed to get all the way over there? Is there an alley or something down here? We gotta go through this building. We're gonna have to go down to we're gonna have to go down the street. Well, shit, pickles. This is gonna be a long I go walk. Where I'm needed. I mean, I suppose we could technically cut through the building, but now that we don't have a phantom anymore, I kind of want to advance at a little bit more of a sedate pace. We're not really having a whole lot of trouble dealing with the lost. I mean, the men and women of the XCOM forces here kind of putting on a killing display, although everybody is getting really, really tired. So maybe the fatigue factor depends on, like, the sort of actions you take while on a mission. Like, the more you run and stuff, the more tired you get. Because everybody seems a little bit tuckered out. We gotta get you guys down and have you work on some cardio or something. You're looking real exhausted. You know what uh, that kid from that Zombie Land movie said? The key to the zombie apocalypse is it's cardio. Just overwatch then. Charlie, you're lagging behind here. Catch up. I'd like to get you to reload because that shotgun of yours is going to be really great if we can run you right into a horde of lost. You could start shotgunning a truck out of them with a high hit percentage. It means you're never going to miss a headshot. Plenty of bonus actions. He's lost, by the way, using some fantastic camouflage in that they put on skirts and tops and went into a department store and hit his mannequins. That's actually pretty ingenious. You gotta give credit to the Lost on this one. That's advanced levels of camouflage. Because they have advanced levels of camouflage, Praetal Mox. I mean, I just, I just told you why. Their advanced camouflage makes them the superior hunters in an urban environment. Think about, uh, you know, what the vampires could have done in uh, I, I Am Legend if Will Smith, when he had walked into that department store, if they'd all been dressed as mannequins. He'd have never seen it coming. Our boy Joe Hill here is going to go for a little bit of... Really, Joe? He didn't, didn't get it done. You know what? We could get this. Charlie Houston's got this. 87, 84. All right, go for the headshot, Chuck. You basically got a five out of six chance here. That's your shotgun into chunklets. That's some nice shooting, bro. Can you do it again? Give me another one. Yep. Certainly is. Disappointedly so. Chuck is not going to be able to give us anything. Where is Dragonov? You're super fast. You're supposed to be over here able to get all of these kills for us. How come we can't get a flank shot on this guy? So we want to be in this tile. We'll definitely have line of sight on 81%. All right, you know what? You've got a really high aim. There it is. One of many. Just be on Overwatch, Troy. Chuck, let's get you up here. We're going to drop you into Overwatch as well. We're not really worried about cover at this point. Stephen King, just take you up here to the corner of this car. Roger that. 
there were more guys behind these. There were like some dashers back there. I don't want anybody running forward into a dasher ambush. Or a dasher dash bush. An am you know what? I was trying to make a portmanteau at a dasher ambush there, but I uh, didn't quite get it done. Right down, Mox, the Overwatch. Not great, Chuck. Chuck Windig doing work though. Good shot, Charles. Don't let the glasses fool you. Chuck Windig is lights out, and Stephen King just does not miss. Target neutralized. What do you got here, Dragonoff? Great whiff. All right. Well, at least he took a shot. I must have miscalculated. I did not exist when this city stood whole. Still, I feel revulsion at what happened to this Really? Place. This is the moment you choose I to wax philosophical, Praetal Mox? While we're in the middle of a life or death struggle, you're like, you know, uh, really shames me what happened to this once great city that I have no experience with, never saw, and wasn't even alive when it was populated by humans. And yet somehow, the deepness and sorrow fills me with existential dread. Guns dry. Rock and Let's roll. reload here. No, we're making, I feel like we're making pretty steady progress. The team is firing on all cylinders, and, you know, the Lost are supposed to be this overwhelming threat, but considering you can kill as many of them as you can do damage to in a turn, the biggest challenge is just making sure your guns have enough bullets in them. Like, the, the most difficult part of dealing with the Lost is ammo management. Box, let's get you up here. Moving there. Watch order confirmed. Char, you know what, Joe? I want you all the way up front. Because if we need you to, I want you to be able to dash into a pile of these guys and smash the shit out of them with your revolver. I love the fact that there is a reason to take sharpshooters. Their pistol abilities make a difference. For, well, that's okay. So there's progressively more lost every single turn. Is that how this works? Progressively more guys get brutally gunned down by Overwatch. Is what it is. Yep, get yours from Chuck Windig. Oh, Windig with the whiff. Adjusting aim. Don't worry, Chuck. I still love you and your beard. And also, Stephen King never misses, Chuck. He's got you. That's a lot of loss, though. Got this is exactly why we moved Joe Hill forward. His gun that does not use ammo... There will come a day when can come up here and kill like 20 of these guys. If they are all like How many are we going to be able to see from here? One? Possibility. We have to be able to see more than one from this tile. They were all right in. I mean, there's like three right there. I guess we can't get target previews on targets we don't know what tiles in. If we don't know the, what tile the target is in, we can't get a target preview on it. Is that how that works? I bet that's how it works. I mean, I, Perfidious Pete, know they're there because I can do the tile trick. Let, all right, hold on. Let's go see what happens here. Order yeah, see, they're all right the there. Well, Joe. Oh, they weren't active yet. Honestly, this is the perfect environment for Joe Hill right here. Like 40 of these guys are going to get killed. Don't start with the man who has four health because your gun doesn't necessarily do that much damage. Start with the 100% hits that do two. So first off... Good. Fantastic shot. So you know what? I was going to say Joe Hill could kill as many of these per turn as he can actually shoot at, but that's not true because he doesn't always do enough damage to short a kill, but he's still going to get like five. Another 100%. That's three. Can you go four for four? He's going for the plush banana. Still pretty good work. So how many are you going to be able to see from that square? Uh, there are one, two, three, and we could get those guys probably with a grenade. I'm thinking that might be a Chuck Windig job, actually. Yeah, you know what, Chuck? Let's get you up here. Roger that. Toss a Granado in. For once, Chuck has enough arm. What made that noise? Okay, Chuck scores two. All right, Mox. Our boy Joe Hill is actually in a tiny little bit of trouble here. You're going to be able to see four from this tile. I don't suppose you could grapple anywhere that's going to require it. I mean, it was worth a shot. You also only have one bullet, which is really bad. A ten baton. Uh, 
he might not kill this guy. He can definitely kill those two. Well, I mean, he has a chance. We got to take it. It's 100%. We got to try it. We actually should have shot this guy with one. Well, no, we couldn't have shot the guy with one health first because then we'd have been out of bullets. All right, we're in uh, a bit of a sticky wicket here. I'm not going to lie. This many in one turn is troublesome. So 72%. We're going to have to rely on the fact that Stephen King just does not miss. When his son's life is in jeopardy, Stephen King brings the heat. Target disabled. Unfortunately, Stephen King Hello is completely out. out of ammo. So Charlie Houston has got to find a way to kill one or more of these guys. So we've got these two who got it. we got three here, and they all need to die. Dragonov, can you get shots at any? Is there any way you can get a shot at any of these guys? Looks like the answer is no. Charlie Houston has a grenade. He's not going to be able to throw it in a useful fashion. There's nothing Stephen King can do here but just reload. It looks like we're going to take some damage, and you know what? That's That's mostly on me. We could kill two with a grenade if we could get the grenade on target, but I don't think we're going to be able to throw the grenade in that fashion. We could also kill one with a sword, but unfortunately I don't think sword triggers headshot. Dragonov has nothing here. As you order, she does have five health, though, so you know what? We need to take the heat off some of our boys. Let's run you in. We could slash one is the best we're going to do. <sighs> looks like Charlie's going to take some damage. Man, what we should have done, should have combo fired. I, I, I took some actions out of order. We could have got another headshot with Joe Hill. And it, it's possible I may have been a little bit too aggressive with Joe. So you're just a regular lost. You're a regular lost. Wait, those guys aren't dashers. Does that mean they can't move and attack? Are you the only person we can hit? You're the only person we can hit. How come you can't get over here to hit this guy? Because of the way that I chose to move you. Son of a bitch. Well, go get him. This guy won't get a swing at anybody because he can't move and attack. But this other shot over here, we're, we're just taking damage from that. You know, now I just feel like you're piling on, maybe XCOM. This is a lot of zombies. So you should not be able to attack, because you're not a dasher. Somebody's getting punched, though. Right, that one hurt. Really? That's it? One damage? Up one to two damage, apparently. Yeah, I'm actually uh, starting to get a little bit worried. Can everybody make it to the extraction zone this turn? And if not, who can't? It is the elder's will that this alliance fall. It will take more than Reload, Mox. You gotta have bullets in your gun. Please kill this. Okay, that's a camp miss shot. Good. Mox is our fastest unit, so if anybody has to stay behind, Mox is that somebody. Actually, all saw that. Ammunition nearly gone. Right, Joe Hill, we're gonna bring you up here. Lord is confirmed. Moving out. Houston, I mean, you got the shot here. Take the shot. I want to get everybody in a position where they can make it to extraction next turn, and then I want most of our team on the watch here. So uh, Elena is just fast as shit, so she she's gonna be able to make. Let's get you up here. If you have some decent shots, you don't. Never mind. Just be on Overwatch. Chuck, we don't really need cover here, so let's get you up here. Put I'm you on the Overwatch. Way. Stephen King does not miss. Unfortunately, Stephen King is, you know, he's getting up there in years. He ain't quite as quick as he used to be. Solid copy. Overwatch then for Joe Hill with the pistol. I'm Overwatch for Charlie. Moving Overwatch for Overwatch. Chuck. I'm on it. 
another swarm has appeared. I mean, this is a lot of lost guys. The zombie population is really getting out of control. Please, folks, help control the zombie population. Have your zombie spader move on. Got Windig missed because he shot a wall. I mean, even though the path of those bullets very clearly intersected that man's head. We did not get the kill. We, we did manage to pick off one of them. Position, but the evac zone's even hotter than we thought. Running out yeah, we're also running out of bullets uh, there, the as as Bradford. Can. We will be there. Okay, so you got headshot. All right, that's a kill. Take another headshot. That's another kill. Man, Charlie Houston and his shotgun. Charlie Houston, it's, it's appropriate that he's an assault here. trooper, of course, because the man did write a book called The Shotgun Rule. And it appears that Charlie does, in fact, know what that rule is. And that rule is, put a shotgun in somebody's mouth, and as a general rule, they ain't getting back up. That's the shotgun rule. Moving is ordered. Headshot. Give it to me. 91%. Nice. And I'm ass over tea kettle. She shot him onto the stove. My ammunition is Guess you could say his ass is cooked. Loading fresh ammo. Dragging off. Chuck, we're going to advance you up to here. Understood. Chuck Moving is out. down to his final bullet. We're going to use it for Overwatch. Steven, come Confirmed. up here. Going to use you for a little bit of Overwatch. Man, our soldiers are all getting extraordinarily tired. Mox, get your ass in gear. You're, you're slowing down the whole program here. We could have been gone already were it not for you. Oh, shit, there's a zombie. Back. Joe Hill, he's got it. Joe Hill's got this. I can feel it. Our boy. All right, maybe I took too many shots at Andrew Lincoln, the Walking Dead thing. More lost. So I guess the lost just never, they, they just keep coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules, then they hit the ground running. Stephen King does not miss. Stephen King does not miss. He does not miss. This guy's just going to walk closer because he's not a dasher. He can't move an attack. Or can he? Never mind. Okay, we are gonna go now. Converging upon this position is staggering. If our team does not evacuate now, trust me, doctor. They know. Payback's a bitch. That's the other part of the shotgun rule. Okay, so we're gonna make sure everybody gets out of this one. Hostile neutralized. You know what, Charlie? You got a grenade, right? Get, Get it down range. Surprise. Charlie Houston's just pissed off and looking for some payback. Elena, I want you here. I'm on the move. You got two shots. Take them down. You got another bullet in that gun. You do. Take them down. All right. says hello. Cover me. I'm reloading. You know, I gotta say the the one thing I will say about these lost missions. They feel really, really good. It's just like, this is badasses being badasses right here. Team full of guys running through a city full of zombies, just running around, kicking ass, taking names. No prisoners. Yeah, some of our boys got punched a little bit, and Charlie Houston's probably got the lost infection or whatever it is they have the equivalent in this universe. I'm on the move. Joe Hill's back in it. Okay, that's it. We've done it. Yeah, you know, Mox, honestly, I feel like we were doing a really good job. Man. Outrider to Avenger, where the hell's our exit? You rang? Okay, now's the time for a, like a dramatic dash where you run up the hood of that car. Run up the hood of the car and dive into the Sky Ranger, because yeah, that's badass. And more Balotin! I need gin! You know, uh, Prax, you got a grappling hook here. Time to return home, traitor! No. Captured my boy. Also, 
Mox? I gotta feel like giving you a grappling hook, you could have just fired it into the back of the Sky Ranger. Our new and alliance then, with these then, outlying well, then resistance would have been presents an intriguing fine. opportunity to study the varying means of survival. All right, two of our troopers wound up gravely wounded. Chuck Windig came through with flying colors, but everybody on the team is absolutely exhausted. Still, man, that was a really fun mission. We may have chosen a different means of resistance. But our people fight for the same reason, for the world uh -huh. we once knew. Together Gonna pointlessly work the bolt on your rifle? Or die trying. The resistance factions take a more flexible approach to training than traditional they can soldiers. Often learn they can often learn multiple new promotion. abilities with each promotion. Huh. They will adapt to follow your choices, cool. Commander. Okay, grants the soldier shadow, an advanced form of concealment. We're taking action only has a chance to reveal the soldier. We got that. Claymore. I probably would have taken a marksman ability. The claymore doesn't seem that good. What do we got here? We got saboteur and blood trail. Remote start. Detonate an environmental explosive, causing it to deal double damage with twice its normal radius. Does not reveal the reaper. Interesting. Blood trail. Shots deal plus one damage if the target has been wounded this turn. Both of those seem okay, but for it, it really feels like the purpose of this class is more of a stealth kind of thing. I, I love this this advancement tree in the Think 4 perk, so that's badass. A lot of customization options here. I don't like Blood Trail because shooting her gun while concealed is one thing that reveals her, but the Claymore doesn't reveal her. The Remote Start doesn't reveal him. I'm, I'm going to make like a full stealth build, I think, here, is the way that it just feels most natural for me to, rip, to play these guys. Steven Deadlights King picking up a blast padding, which I think they fixed, so it's not as terrible, but it's still nothing compared to Shredder. We're going to take Shredder. Chuck Blackbird Wendig, what do you got here? A Grenadier. That's, that's real good, Chuck. We can always use more Grenadiers. Good man. Joe Hill, what do you got? Turn fire, which is terrible. Long watch, however, is okay. You never take return fire because it's 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 never useful. Fire back with your pistol when you get shot. Eh. Oh, that's what being tired does. It reduces our willpower. All right, interesting. Chuck the uh, Mystic Houston. Since we have a Reaper. Maybe we don't need as many. No, because you know what? We're not going to be able to take them on every mission. But we do already have one Phantom Assault Trooper. Maybe a Blade Master would be... <sighs> no, I mean, Chuck... No, Charlie Houston. He wrote the shotgun rule, man. The guy literally wrote the book on this one. He's got to be a shotgun surgeon. Literally wrote the book on the shotgun. We recovered no items. Well, that's disappointing. Operation Lost and Abandoned in New Mexico. We picked up 82 intel. More importantly, Dr. Jin Shin, scientist, is now on the team. That's it. Excellent. We're low on supplies. And we're also soldier captured. Squatty, pray tell Mark, skirmisher. Captured by Foul Il Baladur Assassin. Their dishonor will only be compounded by their suffering. Well, you know death before dishonor, and it seems like Mox is that kind of guy. During the execution of this mission, our operative Praetal Mox was captured by Fall Il Baladur. We may be able to determine where they are being held through a future covert to keep action. An eye on Tygen. But at this point, we need all the help. Also, somebody get. should be keeping an eye on Tygen pretty much at all <laughs> times, Bradford. can help us locate our captive soldier if we deploy on a covert action alongside them. Thank you for sending additional support staff to assist. Yeah, you know, I said you needed somebody to keep an eye on you, and I really feel like Dr. Jin Shin has a trustworthy demeanor. Look at the face. That's the face you can... You know this guy is forthright. Look at that lantern jaw. He's got a heroic profile. This man will keep Dr. Tygen in check. We also picked up Corporal Elena Dragonov. Dragonova? Dragonova. She's awaiting orders in the armory, but she's going to keep waiting on that one because we got to wrap this episode up. It's already long as shit. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see more XCOM or The Chosen, you might consider subscribing as well. New episodes every single day right now. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.